Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to try to fix this pinhole that's inside this tank of the air compressor. Okay guys, what we've got here is uh, there's a pinhole here. And I tried to solder it once, but all I did was take some sandpaper and clean it off a little bit. It's still got a slight leak to it. So, we're going to grind this off of here. And we're going to try to re-solder that again. If not, I'm going to try to get some uh, JB Welder epoxy or something. And uh, try to fix it that way since I don't have a welder. If worse comes to worse, you know, I'll have to borrow a welder or something and uh, and uh put a tack on there but let's see if we can fix it with with that solder first i have fixed these with solder before and uh, the results uh was always pretty good except for this time right here but it's leaking right out that corner so i don't think i don't think i i got the right amount of solder i don't think i got it cleaned off good enough but so we're going to take the angle grinder and we're going to clean that off Guess I should have hollered noise alert. But if you look down in there, yeah, you can see it. Right about the middle of your screen, right there. That's the pinhole right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to solder this. I'm going to clean it out a little bit more around here, some. And then we're going to try, we're going to put some flux on here and some flux on the, uh, the, the solder. I do have some acid, acid core solder. So maybe that'll help. I don't think this was acid core that I had on here. But if I can get it to drop down inside there a little bit and kind of bubble out, you know, kind of bubble out a little bit, that should hold it. But let's, uh, let's clean this off a little bit more and we'll get the solder out. cool then we're going to close the drain the pitcock and then we're going to flip it back over and we're going to let it set for about 20 minutes because remember that pump has oil in it so and it's upside down so we want all the oil to run back down to the bottom of the pump so let's go ahead and let that cool and let's give it a shot and we'll see if we fix the leak if not I'll have to grind it off and borrow a little 110 just a little buzz box or something maybe and uh, I think it'd be all right for that so what happens is see this is an air compressor they build up with water they get condensation in them I gotta drain my big one oh probably twice a week this one what happened was when I got it it had sat for I don't know 15 years or something like that so and there was water in it when I first opened that pet cock so what happened was the water got in here and it laid right there and it rusted a small hole in it or at least rusted it almost through and then when I let it build up with air I heard a little like that so I knew that it popped a little hole there so but let's go ahead and let this cool let's get it flipped back over 
and uh, we'll uh, we'll turn it on and see if we got it fixed. Okay, guys, she's all the way cooled down. I let her sit here for about a half an hour. Now, let's plug it in. It may sound a little loud on camera, but actually, this thing is very, very quiet. I need to put a new cord on it, but let's get it plugged in here and see if we got the leak fixed. See, that's not too bad. That's a lot quieter than my other one. Of course, my other one's a little bigger and a little older than that one. But let's let it run. Uh, I think it'll shut off. I think I got it set off, shut off, at, or set to shut off at about 100 pounds, 100 psi. So let's let it run till it shuts off, and we'll see if the leak is fixed. Okay. So it's looking like right around 110 pounds. It took about, what did I time that at? Three minutes and 42 seconds or 32 seconds, something like that. Uh, let me see. Let me look at my, yeah. Three minutes, 43 seconds is what it shut off at. Now, I'm not hearing any air leaking from that thing anywhere. Alright, so I know what I've got here, I've got an assortment of tools, let's try it, okay, and maybe we can get that thing, see if it'll kick on by itself, alright, first, let's try Big Mama, we got the half inch drive impact, first, what I need to do though, is right here I gotta flip this over and that energizes that charges the line see it dropped down to about 99 okay so that's probably why I was thinking a hundred so now the airline is charged and she's ready to go Now this doesn't sound real noisy because it does have baffles and it does have a muffler. I don't like that. But let's try our little 3 8 drive. <coughs> Hear the difference? <coughs> Then we have our pneumatic tool here that you can put sanding discs on it. It's not an orbital, it's it's not a DA sander, but and it just kicked on. All right, cool. That's pretty awesome. drop a little. Of course I was running them tools. But it did kick on. 
and we know it'll kick off. So, so let's let it run another cycle. When it kicks off, we'll check and make sure, make absolutely sure there's no leaks in it. I think we got it, folks. Okay, guys. It turns out we did have one more little leak right there around the corner edge of that. But I went ahead and sanded that with the grinder like I did the other one. And uh, put a little solder on it and it's fine. There's no leaks now. Um, I did record all that. But, well, I thought I was recording. I had the camera set up. But I did not hit the record button. So... I don't have that footage, but it was pretty much the same as before. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now.